Hello, everybody, and welcome to this edition of Kojigo North Bay News, truly local television. I'm Greg Estabrooks. Well, it's been a pretty good week for the ONTC. The Ontario Northland Transportation Commission is thrilled about a job fair being held next week. They're looking for at least 30 people across the region. Kojigo North Bay News wondered, though, if Union Brass share management's enthusiasm. Job fair is excellent. Uh, you know, with uh, what happened over the last three years, it's uh, it's trying to put excitement back into Ontario Northland, and uh, and build it up and grow it. Have you talked to some of the people that say have been laid off over the last three years? Are they going to try to get their old jobs back, or will this be new hires? Uh, there there will be some people coming back. Uh, we have some that had to transfer up to uh, Cochrane, some laid off, and. Uh, yeah, we're going to be bringing them all back, but uh, there's going to be a lot more work coming too uh, down the pipe with more and more contracts, so we see lots of hires coming. Well, two or three months ago, it was very, very negative, very pessimistic. Why have things changed so dramatically, so rapidly? It's more focused now on bringing in work. Uh, I know the union's working with the uh, company as well and, uh, you know, talking to the other railroads in the industry. Uh, saying, you know, the quality of work and, and stuff like that and what jobs are out there. So we're pursuing those. Like we're, we're looking for tradespeople, but we're also looking for uh, production workers. Uh, and production workers, they're not completely in the trades, but it's, it's about, you know, having some familiarity in some, doing some of the work. And I encourage women and, and, and First Nations and everybody, I, I'd like to see our workplace reflect our community. Uh, so I'm encouraging everybody to come out here. Uh, but this is only a first step. Uh, though I see it as, uh, I mean, there's, we don't have a long-term tenant yet coming in. We don't have a long-term customer coming in. Uh, but certainly this now demonstrates that both uh, the union and the management team are focused on getting work uh, into the workplace. We've made changes to the agreement uh, that we thought we could live with. Uh, and so did the employer. So, uh, you know, the, the next step is now is making sure, I know the minister was here yesterday, uh, but uh, we are a government agency and that the provincial government has to come in behind Ontario Northland now. Uh, there's some capital programs that we have to uh, pay for. There's some equipment upgrades that need to, need to occur. So, so the provincial government will have to loosen the purse strings and let us uh, build up the infrastructure inside internally so that we can compete uh, for some of these contracts. I've heard from a number of sources there's a, a lot of work out there potentially, but you need to grab a hold of them. Well, absolutely, there's a lot of work. I service uh, all the Class 1 railways and Via Rail and a lot of the regional railways, and, and there is a lot of work out there uh, that we could have. Uh, but when you look at some of the, uh, some of the equipment, uh, keep in mind this uh, provincial government, going back to the Mike Harris days and even uh, to the Bob Ray's days, so we've been, we've been uh, strapped for cash for capital programs. So. The equipment that we're running with here is, is old, uh, if not ancient in some cases, and it needs to be upgraded.